Welcome to the latest Battlefield update from news channel Name. Today, we are taking a deep dive into the conflict in Bakhmut, the ruined city in eastern Ukraine. For the past year, Ukraine and Russia have been fighting for control over this city, and for the past few days, both sides have made claims of gains. But who is really in control? Backslash and backslash NAS of now. Ukraine soldiers have been pushing back on Russian forces in this city, with some positions being taken back. On Monday, the commander of Ukraine's Eastern Group of Forces, Jin, Oleksandr Syrsky, indicated that Russia had been forced to withdraw from some positions in some parts of the city. On Saturday, a Ukrainian army spokesman reported that Russian forces had failed to capture a key road running west to the town of Chesivyar. Backslash and backslash in, however, Russia's military has made its own moves in this city. Yevgeny V. Prigazin, the founder of the Wagner militia that's been a big player in the conflict, has reported that Russian forces have advanced hundreds of yards in several directions leaving Ukraine in control of ground equivalent to just a few city blocks. On Monday, Russia's defense ministry said that airborne troops and assault units are holding back Ukraine's forces in the area. Backslash and backslash and so, the battle for Bakhmut is still ongoing, and it looks like it will be continuing for the foreseeable future. Ukraine has said it will counterattack in the next few weeks, and that includes its plans for Bakhmut. Independent military analysts predict that this could mean renewed fighting in this city as Ukraine looks to gain back some of the ground it has lost. Backslash and backslash in this intense battle could mark an important turning point in the war between Ukraine and Russia, so make sure to stay tuned for more updates as the conflict in Bakhmut continues to unfold. We'll be sure to keep you in the loop.